Hi you guys, my name is Lauren Lewis and welcome to my channel. This is my first video ever um, on YouTube. So I, this YouTube channel is going to be dedicated to lashing. Um, I've been a lash artist for almost a year now and it's been such an amazing, crazy journey. Um, I'm so blessed to be where I'm at right now in my lash career and I just thought I would upload some of my favorite tips, my lash card, um, kind of how I got to where I've gotten today and, you know, record my progress for the months or the years to come. So I'm gonna try to make as many as I can during this time while we're stuck at home. Uh, this is a period where, you know, we're in quarantine, it's been real and everybody needs to stay home. So what better way to stay home and make content than to be here? So yeah. Um, all right. So I think for my first video, I'm going to show you guys what I have in my lash cart. Um, since it is fairly organized, I have a lot of time, so I've been organizing a lot lately and it's taken me a while to get to where I've gotten with the products that I have, um, you know, making sure that I have enough so that I never run out of lash trays or glue rings or anything of that nature. Um, it's really important that you want to stock up so you don't run out. You don't want to run out in the middle of a client and be stuck. Don't want that to happen. So I'm going to show you guys what's in my lash cart today. All right, you guys, this is my lash cart. Um, it just has three tiers to it. So I'm going to go through each one um, and tell you what I have in them. So to start off, I have this clipboard um, and it's with consent forms. You want to always make sure that you are giving your clients consent forms just so they know um, any of the ingredients that you might be using may be harmful to their eyes um, it just kind of protects yourself against someone coming after and suing you so this is always important um this little box right here so i've been since quarantine has been going on i've been using um or i've been practicing a lot so instead of wasting the fans that i create i decided to put them in this box I've been labeling them um, and I didn't do that many, but here are some fans for when I actually do start lashing again. So this has been super helpful. Um, this is my lash tile. I honestly just got this from Lowe's. <laughs> I got this from Lowe's and you know, I cut it in half. I've been seeing a lot of lash artists um, sell these for like 10 to $15. So. I just thought, why don't I just go get one at my Home Depot or Lowe's? So I have that. And then I just recently bought this on Amazon. So when I do start lashing again, I will fill this with barbicide and water. And what it does, it you open it like this and the barbicide and water will be down there below and you just dunk your tools in there for like five to 10 minutes and it helps to disinfect. So I thought this was a really cool way to keep everything nice and clean, um, especially now that we're gonna have to extra sanitize everything to make sure that people are not, um, you know, to make sure that everything is kept at a healthy standard. Um, here is my mirror. I have some lash bath that I have been using for like five years already. This is such a good one. It's by Sinful Lashes. I have some hand sanitizer, my micropore tape. This is a green micropore tape. Um, my lash remover, my nano mister back there. I have a lash brush, a lash mirror. And then this is just a little squeeze bottle for um, the Nano Mister back there, just to make sure that all the water gets in there and not make a mess. Um, here is my glue shaker. So you put the 
cap of your glue in here upside down and just turn it on and it shakes. And when I started lashing, I didn't have one of these. Um, and I would just shake my glue for like a minute to make sure that all the you know, ingredients were completely mixed. Um, and I almost threw my elbow out. So this is a really good investment. Um, I have this Renew triple disinfectant. Um, I believe this is for your contacts, but one of my lash mentors, she told me that she uses this to prime and she uses this every single time one of her clients comes in for a fill. So I'm going to try this out. I'm going to see how it works and I'll let you guys know. Um, I'm excited to try this though, because I heard that this helps with her retention. Um, I have some glue rings in here, some spoolies. Sorry, everything is like in its own thing. Um, oh no, what are these lipstick ones? Um, and then spoolies in the end. Um, I have a, what is this? Impressions Vanity little ring light for my phone. It has a couple settings and this is just, it helps with your lighting for your photos. So this is my first tray of my cart. Down here, let's see. Down here, I have a bunch of lashes. I restocked so much. Since we're in quarantine, I'm so ready to get back to lashing. Um, so this, I don't know if you can see, I'm kind of overflowing, but I did decurl 0.05 in this container. And I have some extras. Oh, shoot. I have some extras. And then I don't even know if you could see, but D curl and F curl in my mega volume lash trays. So my top three lash brands that I am currently using are Lash Babe LA and I love a lab. They're amazing. I've been using their products since I started. Um, and I believe I have some lashes on fleek right here. So I use these as well. I kind of just discovered them and she's an awesome brand owner. Her lashes are absolutely amazing and they're super dark and super easy to fan. So that's really good if you're starting to begin, um, you know, lashing. Um, yeah, I really enjoy these 0.03 lashes um, by Yeseline uh, with Lash Babe. She is awesome. And then I just have some extra, you know, glue rings, some spoolies. And then I do have three glues that I needed to stock up on. So this is a sample from Lash Babe LA um, that I'm needing to try out. I believe this is a different formula than her formula that I currently use. So I think it's called Black Magic. So I'm super excited. And then I have a Hulk Hold. I use this glue. Um, I really love it. And it, you know, I've had a lot of good retention with this when I was having difficulty with certain glues. Let's see. I have a Lash Bay Ballet glue. So I'm super excited to try this. I tried this once, I think, and I liked it. What else? Oh, and this is her sealant. I currently don't use sealant. Um, no particular reason. I just never tried one out. So this is my first sealant that I currently have. I'm trying to turn it around. There you go. This is the first sealant that I own. So I'm excited to try it out. Um, I have some extra eye patches back there. And yeah, I just keep my trays up in the second row just to make things really um, clean and organized. I have them organized by um, diameter and then by millimeter. So it goes 11 all the way back to like 16 and then 16 to 21, I think. Yeah, I like to use the 18 18 to 21 millimeter. I have a lot of clients that love that long look. So this is the second row. Okay. And the third row, <laughs> I have 
my C curl and my classic lashes. As you can tell, I don't really use much C curl. I think D curl gives, you know, a really pretty effect on the eye. So that's why I don't have that many. Um, but I also have my classic lashes too. I am not gonna offer classic lashes anymore. I don't think that many girls get them, but I do use them for my few clients that do still have, um, or do still get hybrids. Um, I have a couple lash fans back there. I have a lash shampoo. I have some more glue rings um, with the little glue towers. I think these are used for helping with fanning. Um, I just have a little pouch for when I travel. I have some extra gloves. I have Barbicide. It's always important that you keep some on you just so you could refresh you know that little container up on the top tray every day um you want to make sure that things are fresh and that they aren't um you know kept for a long time just for health and safety precautions um i have some wipes and i think i have some lash brushes down here and that's it i believe <sighs> okay guys let me know if you would like to see anything else from me um i'm gonna try to do a couple more videos while <laughs> we're in quarantine because what else am I gonna do um so let me know down below what else you would like to see from me um again this is super different from what I've ever done I think the last time I made a video was in my college Spanish class so let me know what else you'd like to see from me I think I'm gonna do a how I became a lash check video um I might do a video of me, like a time-lapse video of me, I think I'm going to do a time-lapse video of me doing lashes, so thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you guys have a great week. Bye!